Welcome back, lattes. Welcome. You ready for some luscious long lashes? I'm excited. My my lashes, uh, they could use a little help. Either that, or you got some dang good mascara. My mascara is pretty good. I will say mascara's that. Mascara's popping. How do mine look? They look great. They're long. Dang. Do they, we do we even need to do this? Scratch <laughs> this video. Bye. <laughs> so over the next 30 days, we're gonna going to apply a homemade lash serum to our eyelashes every night next 30 days hopefully it'll we'll do a before make and some, after make some changes so hopefully this will give us volume it will give us Lift. curl like a I lift think. and length right yeah i hope it'll make it thicker we're gonna make our little batches today <gasps> look how cute these are i know are those little oh, cute things i love little containers we're gonna use coconut oil and lavender oil so these are the only two ingredients. Mixing Sweet. them up. So how do we apply this? With just like with a Q-tip? Q-tip finger. Okay. Anything. Just I mean, like dip just it and then like. Yeah. The idea cool. is that eyelashes get dry, like your eyelash line and your eyelashes get dry, and sometimes that's what causes them to like fall out. Mm. So the idea of this is it'll keep, keep them moisturized. moisturized, keep them lasting longer, growing longer, growing thicker. Well, too. I never thought about this, but when you're taking your eye remover and you're rubbing your eyes, you're probably drying them out even more because yeah. you're putting well, all and, these like and cleansers pulling on. on them and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Our eyelashes take a beating. They do. Like I've never treated my eyelashes. No. Like I but do I mean, my hair. It's almost like hair or yeah. nails. You, you have to care for your them. Hair. I'm gonna start conditioning my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, girl, you got it. thin eyebrows. Put some lavender, some coconut. So about two tablespoons. That should last a month, right? One. We'll do it couple updates along the way yeah you guys will see how it's going and how many drops of this should we do i would say like 10 five per tablespoon two, three four five six seven eight nine ten oh smells, smells lovely oh, yes. smells so good so i'll admit i don't always take my makeup off at night this could be the makeup remover Oh, that's right. Because I oil use coconut oil. That. Huh. Would that be cheating if you're using it to take your makeup off? Well, I mean, you definitely want to leave some on afterwards so I, too. Yeah. Because I mean, there have been times when I've used coconut oil as my makeup remover. I have too. Not all. But the time. we just want to make sure we leave some on. Leave some on. But I think it's the lavender too. It's gonna help. Yeah. I'm oh so gosh. excited. This might be my new favorite thing. I know. So like, hopefully it like, doesn't feel like a chore for you. I know. Well, like you were saying in the hair video that we did a month month of hair treatments. You were saying that it kind of got you into a good routine yeah. of when you wash your hair and stuff. So I'm hoping that this will get me in a routine into a better nighttime routine. Yeah. I don't know if it's just oh, like it so good. getting older, but I've been trying to like Take better care of your at night, self. like yeah. have a nighttime routine. I feel like that's I something never... I should have established oh, when I turned like ago. 16. Yeah. And yet but here like, I am almost 30. I kind of have like a ritual now and I keep adding on things uh -huh. that are like part of my ritual. Mm -hmm. and I think it helps me sleep. I'd be up tossing and turning all night and I started to do a bedtime routine and I sleep it so much like better now. It kind of like trains you to wind down yeah. and get ready for bed. I sleep oh. so much better. And this is just going to be another part of my bedtime routine. routine. Just shoop, shoop. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll check back throughout the month and then 30 days later we'll do a final, final thing. Oh, let's show them our lashes real quick. You've got really nice lashes. Thanks, dude. Does yours do that? No. Oh. Yeah, listen. Do you have like an air pocket when you close your eyes? <laughs> I don't know. I All right, guys. I got weird eyelids. We'll see you soon. All right, so a few days in, and all I do basically is I get some on my finger, and the coconut oil just kind of melts, and you just rub it on your eyelashes. It's kind of soothing. The lavender makes it smell really nice, and just, I don't know, it's like that bedtime smell, you know what I mean? So it's been just kind of a nice addition to my bedtime routine. It's only been a few days, but I mean, so far so good, I guess. No big differences yet, but hopefully in another week or so, I'll start Start seeing some changes. Hey guys. So I had a gig last night and I still have like residue from the eyelashes. So I'm gonna use my treatment 
to get it off. That makes the best eye makeup remover. And that's pretty much what I've been doing with it is not just like putting it on my eyelashes, but using it as like a remover too. I don't feel like it's really made a huge difference yet. I think maybe they feel softer and they probably are getting nourishment from all the performance makeup and all that stuff. Dirty. I just wipe this off and then I put a little bit extra on my eyelashes and I let it sit. Get a little bit in my hands and then I just put it on like this. And I also put it in my eyebrows because why not? Okay, there it is. So I got my coconut oil on. I'm trying to see if it'll grow in like here and right here it's really thin so let's see if this helps so i'm about two weeks in almost two weeks in to be completely honest i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm not seeing any difference in my eyelashes but what i am seeing a difference in and i thought this was pretty rad um my skin seems to be clearing up a little bit i've noticed that i think because i'm paying attention to doing this a little routine on my eyelashes every night I'm also paying more attention to like my full nighttime skincare routine and I feel like my skin is just looking a little bit better so that's good um, but as far as the eyelashes go I'm not seeing anything and something else that I've realized is that it's not super fun waking up with this stuff on so when you put it on it feels great it feels fine but overnight this is gonna sound weird it starts to seep into your eyes it almost reminds me of you know when like babies are born and they put like a bunch of Vaseline over their eyeballs That's kind of how I feel in the morning when I wake up is that my eyeballs just kind of feel gooey It's not the greatest thing and maybe that's part of why my skin's looking better because first thing in the morning too Is I go and like wash my eyes off wash my face first thing in the morning when normally I would wait a little bit to wash my face, so I don't know. There's definitely positives to doing this eye serum stuff, but maybe not for my actual eyelashes. Hey friends, so I don't know why we keep doing these challenges where you get to see me in all of my no makeup glory, but here we are. I'm gonna use a Q-tip today to try and first get my makeup off from yesterday because I didn't wash my face last night. I don't think I've really noticed the difference with this stuff. I think the only positive I've seen is that my face smells really good. Not the only positive. It's definitely easier to like get my makeup off with this stuff and my skin around my eye feels like more moisturized but I don't think that it's really making my eyelashes grow which I had pretty low expectations anyway. Regardless, it feels good. So there's that. I wonder if Jess is like feeling the same thing because I haven't even asked her what she thinks of this. I wonder if if any of you out there have done this 30 day coconut oil, lavender oil conditioning treatment for your eyelashes. I would like to know what you thought of it if you felt like it helped. I think I also said in the last clip I recorded was that I think it's making my eyelashes softer so maybe it is helping and I am conditioning my eyebrows too. We're just over three weeks in now and still not seeing really much difference with eyelash length and thickness but maybe once I see the before and after photos maybe I'll notice a difference kind of like our hair video or 30 days of hair treatment but we'll see I mean at the very least I'm still keeping up with a better skincare routine so there's one big positive if that's the only thing that it does there you go there's a three week in Back to the studio one month later. Ooh. How are you feeling about dry lashes? I kind of feel like they maybe got a little longer. They look nice. They feel They're softer. Nice. They feel more clean. Definitely more clean. I was a lot better about cleaning removing your makeup off. all my makeup. See, like, and I feel that's, like that's something. What this challenge, these challenges do for us because in the hair video, I felt like it was giving me a better hair washing routine. Yeah, like, and I feel like this gave me more of a eye care routine. Uh -huh. So it just yeah. sort of like became part of my whole like I wash my face, I put my yeah. my moisturizer on, and all that. So. I think for me, like doing one good thing for my 
people eyes like one really good thing mm -hmm. was like oh well then I may as well do this and this and this yeah so it was really good for establishing a good routine mm -hmm. as far as I don't know if it it's helped. It's hard to tell. I though. really don't know if it's it helped. Really, it, it smelled nice. It, it smelled felt really good. good. I felt like my face like really like felt smelly goody after. Here's a question for you. Did you wake up with like really goopy eyes? Mm -mm. I didn't put that much on. I didn't think I put that much on either, but my eyes when I woke up like I'd have goop all in them and they felt just like gross. <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing. I washed my face like first thing in the morning because I didn't yeah, want to walk usually... around like a goopy alien. Well, let's take a look at yours first. Okay. See some before and after pictures. I, I see some length here. They look, look, these they look healthier. Yeah, you can see some of the it's curlies like more, at the bottom. And that's sort of what I felt. Especially in the corners. Like yeah. you can see how they're longer in the yeah. corners especially. And a little bit thicker like on uh -huh. my left eye. Yeah. It's more thick right here. I mean, I'm going to probably continue to do it just because you like it. I like the makeup removing aspect of it mm -hmm. more than anything. Yeah. I was putting it in my eyebrows too, can you tell? Makeup my face looking I didn't even like think about the fact that I was just putting them in my eyebrows, so I I think it definitely helped. No. Interesting. My eyeballs. Your wow, eyeballs. look at that crazy <laughs> crazy eyebrow right <laughs> we got, there. Like, a little bald spot right there. Just yeah, my the eyebrows, eyebrows are I think they look thicker. I think mine definitely look thicker, especially on my right eye. Yeah. That's look a pretty at all those hairs. pretty thing big difference. And this, I feel like my after picture, I've been so good at removing like the gunk and the makeup and potential buildup. Like these are definitely cleaner too. That's I think part of the lifting properties of it is mm -hmm. if your eyes are dirty and your lashes are dirty, it's gonna oh, weigh it down. down. So if they're that. clean and you actually wash your makeup off, it'll probably allow them to naturally curl. Oh, lift up more. So, Interesting. And wow. I do feel like yours have a little bit more lift on the edges. Like these look very uh -huh. flat. Yeah, that's true. And they almost look oily. I really didn't notice it. I mean, over 30 days, you yeah. see them every day. You You're not going to notice. notice the difference. But, but I think in but the, the pictures, before and after, it really does show. I'm impressed. Are you going to keep doing it? Yeah, I think I will. I've noticed. I mean, I didn't notice, but the pictures say otherwise. So yeah, yeah, I think I will. I think it was a success. Next month, we're going to be trying 30 days of green smoothies in the morning. Super excited Ooh. about it. Stay tuned. How am I going to stick to it? <laughs> we'll do a good job. Cheers. Give us your suggestions below on any other beauty related, like long time challenges, month long, hair, beauty, skin, whatever. Here's a twist. Maybe something that is very specific to friendship. Ooh. So like, I'm excited I don't, I don't know what that more. means, but just like that would something be cool. that is maybe a challenge, not necessarily that we do together, but because we're already doing these together. Uh -huh. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like something friendship 30 day challenge of some sort. Becoming better friends in 30 days. Yeah. Cheers to that. See you next time. Bye lattes.